Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another GTA 5 guide. This time I'll be showing you guys what are the best tweaks and settings in GTA 5 to get better FPS and maximize your performance in game. So let's get on board. But before that, I want to let you guys know that we are really close to 20k subscribers and I would seriously appreciate a sub if you guys can do it. I'm really excited and with all that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, I've made a list of our tasks that we need to do to get better FPS. Let's move with step number one, that is creating a restore point. This is a very crucial step so that you can roll back your PC back to its original state where nothing has happened. So for that press your windows key and then type in create a restore point. Then over here search for the drive which says system with it and then hit create. Name it GDA5 backup and then hit create. Once done with step number 1, let's move ahead with disabling background apps, that is our step number 2. For that, go to settings and search for background apps. Once you're here, disable let apps run in the background and over here, search for startup apps. Also, take a look at the startup applications and disable all the unwanted applications that you don't want to start up when your PC boots up. This will save a lot of memory right from the start. Then search for graphic settings. Over here, make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on. Then go to browse and then go to the download location of your GTA 5. Now once you are here, select GTA 5 and then hit add. As you guys can see, I've already added GTA 5 over here. So go to options and then choose high performance and hit save. Once you're done with all of these settings, go to the link in the description below and download GTA 5 updated FPS pack.rar. Alright, here is a short tutorial on how to download the FPS pack from the link in the description below. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be coming to this page. All you have to do is scroll down until you find the GTA 5 updated pack, click on this and two ads will pop right in front of you. After that, you'll be going to a screen like this. Then click on download button and you'll be downloading your FPS pack in no time. Alright, so once you've downloaded the FPS pack, drag it to your desktop and extract it. And you'll find 6 folders in here. Let's begin with the first one. The first one says BCD edit tweaks. You have to right click and then run them as administrator. And then you'll see operation completed successfully. You can get out of it. Then delete temporary files. Right click and run this as administrator as well. This will remove all the unwanted applications and files in your local disk C which are not being used by your PC. Now remember these are just temporary files so you don't have to worry about anything. Then go to the second program which says quick CPU and install the 64 bit or 32 bit according to you. Now once you open up quick CPU make sure that everything over here is running in 100% and go to memory and then click on clean and then close it and then apply and close this as well then install part control okay once you install and open a part control things should look like this now over here make sure bitsum dynamic boost is enabled and then drop down and select bitsum highest performance hit apply and then hit ok for the next tab it says GDA settings all you have to do is open up this settings.xml, copy these files, then go to documents and over here search for Rockstar Games. In here you have to go in GTA 5, take this settings.xml file, paste it in your desktop as a backup file and then paste the new one over here. Now remember, you have the backup file so if anything goes wrong with your GTA 5, you can get back to the original ones. So I highly recommend you guys to save this settings.xml in your desktop. Alright, once you're done with the second folder, open up memreduct and install it. Alright, so I'll explain you how memreduct actually works. Look at your memory consumption. For me, 44% of my memory is being used by my PC. So as soon as I hit clean memory and I hit yes, look at this, my memory falls down. So in this way, you can free up your memory for playing GTA 5. It will be really beneficial if you have much more RAM, empty and ready for use. I highly recommend you guys to run Memreduct every time you open up GTA 5. Last but not the least is Timer Resolution. Open up the folder and open up Timer Resolution. 
Now, you'll see a screen just like this. Click on Maximum and then Minimize Timer Resolution. Once you're done with everything within this folder, right click at any empty space of your desktop and then open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Now, once you're in the NVIDIA Control Panel, go to the Manage 3D Settings and then click on Program Settings. Over here, select GTA 5 if you have it. For me, I have GTA 5 in here. If you don't see GTA 5 in your selected programs, hit add and then you can add GTA 5 from the drop down list. Alright, over here, go for CUDA GPUs and then click on use these GPUs and select your graphics card. Then for power management mode, go for prefer maximum performance. Then negative LOD bias, select clamp. Then trilinear optimization, turn it off. Vertical sync, turn it off. And also threaded optimization, turn it on. Apply these settings for your GTA 5 and then close your NVIDIA control panel. Once you're done with these things, search for adjust and you'll find something called adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Over here, select adjust for best performance and then enable this option as well as this option. Then click on apply. After you're done with those steps, press windows key and then type in disk cleanup and over here select your local disk C. Hit OK and then over here downloaded programs, just uncheck it. Temporary internet files, you can select it, you can select recycle bin, you can select temporary files, you can select, yeah. Leave everything as it is, just remove these temporary files and then hit OK. Then click on delete files. Let your PC clean up your local disk C. This will only remove unwanted files and unwanted trash in your computer or temporary files which your PC must have created to run applications which are not being used right now. After this, go to Steam or Epic Games, right click on GTA 5, then go to Manage and then Browse Local Files. Over here, you have something called commandline.txt. If you don't have this file, make sure to right click new and add this notepad or text document name it command line.txt open it up inside this you have to paste these things i'll be leaving a link to these text in the description below you'll find this on the same downloading website as well just save it and close it now we come to the most important step and this is an optional step if you guys want you can do it this is called exit lag now this will give you a better performance and you will see the significant changes as well once you open up exit lag it should look like this now in this search search for gta5 and then for select a region i'll select mine which is mumbai 01 then leave these settings as it is and then hit apply now go to tools and then enable the second fourth and fifth option to scale it all the way to high and then enable all of these options then go to fps boost enable the first fourth and last two options and then minimize exit lag now it's time for gta5 in game settings and that is the last and foremost step all right once you open up your game press escape and then go to settings and then go to graphics and over here make sure that you're playing on dx11 and then all of these settings are on their uh, default over here make sure the directx version is 11 or 10.1 if that works better for you then scroll down and for fxa put it off msaa turn it off vsync turn it off then all of these densities take it all the way down for all of these qualities turn it all the way to normal or low follow these settings and make sure that your video memory is somewhere around 1000 mbs just after doing these settings your game will run much smoother then go to advanced graphics and then make sure all of these options are off
Just after that, your game will look much more smoother and better. I hope this video had helped you out, and if it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more awesome guys like this. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.